Hello everyone, my name is Hayley and welcome to my channel if you are new here. Today we will be starting Morbid Gamers Ultimate Decades Challenge, which is an adapted version of Zombie Clear's original. However, for this Decades Challenge, we will start in the 1300s and go all the way to present day. So there are a lot of decades to get through. But before we jump into all of that, I do just want to give a quick trigger slash content warning. Since this challenge does play through a range of wars, pandemics, tragic events, and has a lot of death of all life stages through its infamous death rolls. So just keep that in mind when watching. And if this isn't your thing, please feel free to click off at any point. But with all of that being said, I will have this challenge document linked down below for you guys to read through if you are interested in the rules and all that. But for now, I think it's time that I introduce you to my Sims. Alrighty, everyone. So welcome to the Hastings household, our peasant family that we are going to be starting this challenge with. On the right, we have our Gen Zero patriarch and matriarch, Arthur and Marie Hastings. And on the left, we have William and Abigail Hastings, our Generation One Sims. So I have decided that William is going to be our heir if all goes to plan and he doesn't endure an untimely death. So we do have Abigail as a backup if anything goes wrong. He is hoping that it doesn't. But they are living in the medieval world of Windenburg in this quite quaint medieval home that I did actually build myself. So it isn't anything too fancy. But to the right, we have a little crop farm. We also have an animal farm and the little home itself. Obviously, since they are peasants, there's only really enough stuff for them to survive. There isn't anything too fancy because you wouldn't really expect it in this time period. But they also do have a little outhouse here just to care for all their sanitary and hygiene needs. But that's about it for the home. Now, unfortunately, we do have to start this episode with a few different types of roles. So the first role we're going to do is for our seasonal harvest to see what type of harvest we're going to have for our spring season, which is the season we're currently playing in. And we also need to do an unfortunate death roll for our Gen Zero Sims because, of course, they don't have the certainty to survive this first round. Thankfully, our Generation 1 Sims are let off this time, but that won't be forever. So I think we'll quickly jump into the roles. All right. So to start with the roles, we are going to quickly roll for the seasonal harvest. This is the key for the seasonal harvest. If we get a one, it is poor soil. If we get a two, it is great soil. If we get a three, it's a crops blight, which we don't want. And if it's a four, it's a bug zone. So let's hope we get lucky. So let's roll away and we're going to get a one, which I believe is poor soil. So that's okay. We'll take it. And now onto the death rolls. I am a little bit nervous for this. So if our generation zero Sims roll a nine or less, they do not make it past. So let's roll for Arthur first. And he got an 18, which means he's actually going to survive, which is wonderful. Let's do a roll for Marie and hope that she has the same ending. And she unfortunately does not. So Marie has rolled a two, which means that she does not survive, which is very upsetting, but it is per the challenge rules. <sighs> okay, so here we are. Marie is unfortunately passing away. This is very unfortunate for a first roll, but I mean, at least Arthur did survive. So Abigail and William still have one of their parental figures around. I just think it's really upsetting because she was probably a big part of their lives, especially little Abigail, who is still a teenager. I don't think it would have affected William as much since he is a young adult, but it's still not nice, you know? And I don't know what's going on with my Grim Reaper conversion, so I might uh, quickly change that before the next episode. So don't mind him for the moment. But we are just going to say our goodbyes to Marie Hastings. And here she goes. So here's her headstone. I am just going to put it in Arthur's inventory for the moment because I don't really want them to keep going and mourning at it. We will definitely be putting it in a graveyard at some point, but for the moment, Arthur's just going to hold on to it. 
And now that that's out of the way, I'm going to quickly add in the challenge for our harvest this season. So here we are. We did roll a one, which means that we get poor soil. So I'm going to add that on top of our already off the grid, simple living and filthy challenges. Oh my goodness. What a way to start. But you know what? They are living in medieval times. This isn't too out of the ordinary. And I think little Abigail has just come over here to cry, which is really upsetting because I'm going to have to get her to stop because I do really want her and William to go out foraging together so we can at least start getting our farm ready and maybe get some ingredients. So I'm going to send little Abigail off with her brother and I reckon I'll send Arthur hunting to get some meat for us to cook with tonight and hopefully this grim reaper leaves i really hope he doesn't want to stay around and chat um yeah don't know what's going on with him oh and while our sims are gone the trader has arrived and he's deciding to have a shower in the front of our house i guess i don't know why he's decided to get naked but and poor Abigail has to see this, which is unfortunate. I think she'll probably just go back foraging with William. She doesn't really seem like the type to be able to deal with that. But if you are unaware, this is Trader Jacques from the royalty mod. He comes around every few days and trades goods and different things with us. So we'll have to come and introduce ourselves. Hopefully William or Arthur will come home soon to do so. And he thankfully put his clothes back on, which is good. I don't really think a good way to start off a friendship is by showering naked in front of their home okay so arthur made it home let's come and introduce ourselves to the trader i feel like we are going to become very good friends with how much we're probably gonna have to sell to him i'm not actually sure what he trades so we should also give that a little look see all right so he actually does have a lot to sell um i don't think there's anything that we need right away or at least nothing i can think of I'm hoping that all of our seasonal crops we get by foraging, so I don't really think we'll buy anything from him. Um, it's good to know that he does sell this stuff, though. It'll come in handy if we want to make anything specific. But I think for the moment, we're okay. We unfortunately don't have anything to sell to him yet, but hopefully next time he comes around, we do. So we got a chicken, we got a squirrel, and we got a pigeon. Let's cut some of this meat up. And they're just consoling each other. It's really a tough time for them, but they don't really have the luxury of being able to mourn in it since everything they do throughout the day is for their survival. Look, Abigail did get some sage, some strawberries, some onions, and some acorns. We can actually plant strawberries, which is good, so I'll quickly put those up. Let's go foraging. Arthur, maybe we can start fishing. Maybe that's something we should start getting into. How are their needs? All right, they're not too bad. Abigail is a little bit stinky. Actually, very stinky. I'm not sure how she got so stinky. Oh, okay, I just found the culprit, so she became a victim of the skunk. Um, I might just have her quickly take a little bath. Oh, okay. Clearly, Arthur hasn't done that yet. Okay, good. We've started the fishing skill. This might be a good way for us to start getting a little bit of money. Um, I'm not sure if you can cook with it. I'd assume you can. Um, any fish? Okay, we can make some roasted fish. Oh, a few good things. Abigail is also done with her shower or her bath, sorry. So we'll also send her foraging as well. We really just need to get enough stuff to start ourselves out. Okay, Arthur really isn't having a lot of luck fishing over here. So let's just do a little bit of scavenging then. See what's around the local area. There's a woohoo bush, which is nice to know. Um, I think there's something down here. Yeah, we've got this down here. All right. I also do want to install a mod that gets rid of using umbrellas because although I don't think I'm going to be totally historically accurate, um, I do want to at least try and stick to it. And I certainly don't think umbrellas were there, at least not for peasants. All right, so we got two time capsules. I'm just going to sell them. I don't plan to be completely 1000% historically accurate because I just don't feel like you can do that in the Sims game, but I'm going to try my best. Okay, everyone is a little bit hungry. Oh, and unfortunately, Arthur can't make anything nice. So I think we might just wait for Abigail to come back from foraging. Actually, speaking of that, what did you get, William? You got some blueberries and some carrots. Okay, that's good. We can plant the carrots for this season. All right, Abigail's back. What'd she get? She just got an apple, which we can't actually use. But I think I'm just going to have her come over and quickly cook up a meal since she is kind of now 
the woman of the house, I guess you can say. And apparently she is scared because the trees have eyes. Um, little concerning. Let's call everyone to meal. Have a sit down family dinner. That'll be kind of sweet. I also know as per the rules that we can't actually keep this in the little fridge that I have. I mean, not that it's really a fridge, it is kind of shelves, but it does actually work as a fridge. So since we are on off the grid, um, it doesn't actually work. So I think if we put it in there, the food can still go off. Um, I'm hoping so, but if not, I can always change it and just chuck it in the bin or wait for it to spoil. All right, it is getting pretty late. I think for the rest of the night, I'm just gonna fill their needs and have them go to bed. So I'll catch you guys in the morning. All right, it is the next day and I've already had to send Arthur to get some more water and he's just going to do some fishing as well. Maybe we can start the day by doing a little bit of laundry. She does kind of have to take all of the maternal roles in that aspect now that her mom's gone. Okay, maybe you can come back down and go take a bath. It probably wasn't fair that I sent you fishing when you're a little bit stinky. I don't know what's going on. I had her drop out because obviously she wouldn't have been getting an education in this time period, but it's not working. So I'm just going to have to cross it off every day, which is a little bit annoying. Okay, Arthur is planting away. We'll also make sure we water them so they're all ready. Hopefully we'll be able to fill this all out for each season. I'm not sure how lucky we'll get on that matter, but we'll try. Okay, so I just had a look and apparently you actually can't strawberries i don't know where i got that idea so i think i'm just gonna have william or arthur uproot them all right so now we're just left with the carrots which we are allowed i do want to actually send them all to the local tavern because in this time period when they weren't working the land or foraging around they were actually at the tavern drinking it's also probably good for them to get out and socialize a little bit so i'm gonna get their needs up and we're gonna head there Okay, so here we are. We've made it to the local tavern. Um, it isn't anything too fancy. I've just found it on the gallery. I did change it up a little bit just to suit with some of the CC I had. But we're going to have them come in. And unfortunately, the override that I had for mixologists clearly isn't working. So I'll have to fix that next time. But I feel like Arthur's definitely going to come and order a drink. In this time period, they didn't have anything too fancy. So I think that we might just get some bale and just pretend it's some type of ale or beer. And William can also come get a drink. Oh, and William's just getting to know the local townspeople and apparently isn't too much of a fan. This is also probably the time in which William will be trying to find a wife. He is a little bit older than he should be and he should actually already be married at this stage, but he isn't yet. And now that his mum's passed away, I definitely feel like his dad is laying on the pressure to find a wife and settle down and pass on the family legacy. Okay, so the lord of this area has actually shown up at the bar. Maybe it's a good thing if we introduce ourselves. I do think he will be coming around or getting someone to come around to take our taxes every so often. Maybe we can come play a game of Don't Wake the Llama. I feel like that'll be a little bit cute. Some family bonding time. They're honestly the cutest though. Look at them all. This is probably the time they really value together. All right, while they've been playing, I have actually noticed a fellow peasant that I specifically added in. So this is Lester Bennett of the Bennett household. And he actually has a daughter who may be a potential love interest for our William. All right, let's come say hi, check up on how the farm's doing. Maybe talk about the cool temperatures, question him about how his harvest is heading i also think that arthur does have william's marriage on his mind and will try anything to try get an arrangement of marriage to occur maybe he might have a chat to lester about how his daughter's doing and see if she's still available this feels so wrong but like in this decade that's what they would have done we could discuss what's new about the kingdom too maybe talk about new marriages that have been going on or we could even gossip a little bit that's kind of funny Okay, it's getting pretty late. Lester's headed home. Maybe we should head home too. But it seems like they're all just going to head to bed. It's been a long day. Tomorrow, hopefully, we will be able to get some more things for our farm because it is looking very dull at the moment. 
Okay, Abigail and William are off. Abigail is just going to make some breakfast and William's just getting his needs ready for the day. Unfortunately, today our meal is gruel because I really don't have anything to cook with. Arthur's just gotten up. Let's have him come grab a serving. William can also grab a serving. He's really angry though because his clothes are soaked. Okay, what are you two up to? Oh, sibling love. You know, William, I know you're angry, but like come clean it up. Your sister's doing all she can. You can maybe contribute a little bit and she wouldn't be as flat out with all the chores. Oh, good. Arthur finally reached level two and will hopefully be able to catch some fish now. Oh, Arthur just caught a grape. Unfortunately, we can't use it for farming, but it's still good. Oh, and he caught his first fish, which is good. Okay, how are our plants? They have already grown carrots, but unfortunately, we cannot harvest them till the end of this season, which is in four days. Once William's back, I do think I want to take him and Arthur to go visit the Bennett household, specifically Lester Bennett, who we met last night. I think that Arthur wants to arrange something between his son and her daughter since they're not getting any younger. Okay, so I have had Arthur and William come and visit the Bennett household just down the street. And unfortunately, it doesn't seem like Lester's home. However... Elizabeth Bennett is home, who is the daughter of Lester and Mary Bennett. So I definitely think William's going to come introduce himself, give her a respectful introduction. Arthur will too. I think Arthur's hoping that by bringing William to come meet Elizabeth Bennett, that he might get his mind a little bit more on marriage. And Lester's just arrived, so they're just having a little chat here, probably organizing something, honestly. I don't think that many people got to marry for love in this time period. Oh, and here is Mary. So this is the mother of the household. We'll also come and introduce ourselves, but she's just taking a bath, so let's let her do that. Oh, and here is little Charlie, Elizabeth's brother. He's a little toddler. He's really cute. Oh, it seems like Lester's talking about a potential crop blight in their area. This might be stressing Arthur out a bit and maybe cause for why he wants to get his son married so quickly. Ask for advice, maybe. Like, what would you do? Do you think they should get married? I know they're right next to us and they can hear every word we're saying, but that's invalid. I think Mary's a little bit off this idea, though. I think she's still got that thought process that... You know, Elizabeth's not that old. I mean, she's a young adult, but she's not that old. Like, she has time. Whereas Lester's like, no, age is getting away from her. They must try as soon as they can. And these two are actually really hitting it off, which I'm happy about. I haven't even needed to control them. They've just been chatting away this entire time. So maybe it is really destined for them to be together. Okay, I have had these two sneak away for a little bit. I think they know what's going on, so they're probably trying to take some time to get to know each other before their arranged marriage. I don't think they're too put off getting married, though. I mean, a lot of people did marry for friendship in this time, from what I'm aware of. I feel like William's a very noble man. He might want to do it on his own terms. Make sure that he's being respectful. Maybe we do also give a little bit of a flirt and see how she takes to it. Oh, she seems to enjoy it. And of course, Arthur is coming through just to chaperone a little bit in this time. They definitely weren't allowed to be on their own. But she took the flirtation well. So maybe we can give her a little pickup line and compliment her appearance. You know, make her feel nice about herself. I just love that Arthur came over here. I didn't even make him, but he's just coming over here to watch what's going on. What a good chaperone he is. Okay, they're really feeling each other at the moment. So this has kind of worked out better than I expected. I don't think up until this moment that William has actually really thought about who he wanted to marry. But I think now that he's in this situation, he knows he needs to do it. And he's kind of doing it for the family and for Abigail. She probably needs another motherly figure in the house. Oh, look at them go. Aww. All right, we now are officially going to court her. That's, this is so cute. And Arthur's here to watch. Of course, he had to come in for this moment. All right, so they're courting each other, which is really cute. Hopefully we'll have the wedding soon and then we can get onto the baby making. But I would say this was a very successful trip. They got along like a house on fire and we're engaged. All right, Abigail is standing right out the front. She's probably wondering where they've gone for so long because it is 11 o'clock at night. But let's just have you guys head to bed.
All right, so they have woken up. Abigail is just making some breakfast while Arthur is over here fixing our chamber pot. Okay, breakfast is on the table. Let's call everyone to meal. William's also just woken up, which is good. All right, here they are, just eating their breakfast. Then I think we'll get ready on some of the chores. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a few more things to forage. And I definitely think that we also might have a small little wedding today. I know it does probably seem like we're going really quick with all of this and William's marriage, but in this time period, they would have done this. And the way that we're doing the time in The Sims, we don't really have a lot of it, so it's probably good to get on top of it all. But you know what, William? Oh, I was just about to say, you can come and have a bath because you're really stinky, but your dad kind of bet you to it. And he's clearly already showing how paternal he can be. He just cleaned up after his sister, which is really cute. Oh my goodness. If he isn't husband material, he was just cleaning up after his sister and now he's cleaning the tub. What next? Is he going to do the laundry? Oh my. Okay. I just had another look at what we are allowed to plant because apparently my memory is really bad. And we are actually allowed to plant parsley and also sage sage is something that we can plant all year round so let's definitely get that going because this is looking very sad and it's almost getting to the end of the season in a few days and we really are not going to have anything to sell so we got to get on top of it all right so this is looking a little bit better we'll be sure to plant all of these but before we do that i've just seen that the trader has arrived so i am gonna come and quickly get arthur to come and sell some of the things that we collected and I honestly feel like I predicted it. He really, really is husband goals, honestly. Or future husband goals. He's cleaning away. Okay, I'm afraid that this trading option is actually broken. I've been trying to get them to do it for the past few sim hours. And they're just not doing it. So maybe let's just send the trader away. And we'll just sell them normally, I guess. Oh no, Arthur is going through an early midlife crisis. Life seems to be passing Arthur by these days. It's the same thing day in and day out with nothing to really show for it. It might be time for a change. You know, that actually kind of works perfectly with the story we're going with, especially since he wants to get his son married off and kind of set up his children's lives. So when he eventually passes, they are all okay. I feel like their needs decay so quickly, especially their bladder and their hygiene. Like, I feel like at this rate, they're doing it every single day, which I know they should be, but in this time, they didn't really do it that often. I mean, they had bathhouses that they would go to, so I think I might add that in for next episode, and maybe we can make a whole thing out of it, but they really are using up this water. Arthur literally just came back from collecting water, and I feel like they're already going to be out of it because of this. And you've just walked in on your son. Are you kidding? Okay, our farm is looking a little bit better now. We've got a few things planted, so hopefully by the end of this season, we'll be all right. But it is getting a little bit late into the day, so I think it's time that we hold our first wedding of the series. Alrighty, so here we are. I've just brought everyone together, and they're already going at it, which they should not be doing. They are not married yet. So on that note, I think I'm just going to quickly go and get them married. So let's have everyone come here together. I did also, of course, have Lester and Mary come along. All right, everyone come sit down. Elizabeth and William are just about to get married. I know it wouldn't have been that big of a thing in this time period, but I just thought it was cute to get the families together. And Mary has decided to play the violin. I'm not sure how time appropriate that is, but we'll excuse it for the moment. Oh, here they go. Oh, they're married now. Okay, now since we did actually marry, they do need to give us a dowry of 2500 So I'm just going to take that from their household funds and give it over to us, which is good. We've got a little bit of money up our sleeves now. Okay, Elizabeth has just come over to say goodbye to her dad. I know they don't live very far away, so we can always go and visit, but she is now a married woman and will not be able to live in their household anymore. So it's just nice that she could say a goodbye to her dad. Alrighty, so all our Sims are home. Now, this is traditionally the point in which William and Elizabeth would consummate their marriage. 
So I think I'm just going to send Arthur and Abigail maybe out to the town for a little bit. Okay, so here they are. They're just having a little bit of a flirt. And I'm just going to have them go straight for it and try for a baby. Break out the candles and make it romantic. They are woohooing for the first time. All right, so they have officially consummated their wedding or their marriage. Um, they're feeling pretty good about themselves and hopefully Miss Elizabeth is pregnant. I do have the pregnancy chance at 25% just as the rules say. So we're going to cross our fingers and hope for the best. But I think for the moment, I am just going to have them go to bed. You know, it's been a long day and we need to start working more on our farm again tomorrow. So I'm just going to have them head to bed. Oh my. All right. Elizabeth has woken up bright and early and just threw up in our chamber pot. So hopefully that's good news. All right. I think on that note, though, we have officially made it to 13.01. So we've played a whole year. So I think this is a good place to leave it. Hopefully in the next episode, we will see if Elizabeth is officially pregnant. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and subscribe if you did so I know. But until the next episode, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye everyone.